WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a cool and sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of green out there. You've got all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. That's the Dow's up 54 points, about uh, less than two tenths percent, seven tenths for the S&P, 32 points, 188 for the NASDAQ 100, one and two tenths percent there, about a half percent for the Russell eight and change, 70 points to the move of the uh, to the upside for the semis. That's nearly two percent there. Trend is up uh, three tenths, 45 points. Gold's off 70 cents. Silver's down eight pennies. Light sweet crude is up 41 cents. Natural gas is off 4 cents. 30-year treasury down nearly 1 point, printed out at 119.25. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left-hand side. Right now you got the ES Mini taking on profile resistance. That's up at the 4583 level. Price closes above that, we will get back to its high. Spot volatility still below the 50-day exponential moving to average. And that is a positive for the bulls. If we take a look at the NQ out here, disconsolidating with inside its daily profile, it's got two different tops. Both those tops have led to a consolidation within 15,748 and 16,103. U.S. dollar index did close above the top of its daily profiles calculated by this black background chart. It's back below it right now, and a close below 103.76 says that is a false breakout signal for the black background set of charts. Goldilocks has got to sell the D-point pattern. That sell the D-point pattern has resulted in a consolidation with inside its profile as between 2023 and 2080. Silver, on the other hand, it's got to sell the D-point pattern. Prices below the bottom of its profile. It's been below it for about three sessions. I think we need to look to see where the weekly asset and change line is. I don't know that off the top of my head. Perhaps we can get to that during the Trader Z show. Light Street Crude has got an A to B equals CD to the downside. That one-to-one -one price projection would get us to about 61.70. Natural gas trading below profile support. That likely wants to head lower. And if we did get a bearish reversal candle today inside the 30-year Treasury, that would complete a sell the D point pattern. Short of that, Price will want to make its next move, and that's the 1.272 target. And that'll get us up towards the 123 level for the 30-year Treasury. Folks, if you're off to start your day, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, lastly, here, if you are off to start your day, I'll leave you with uh, what you need to be paying attention to. And what you need to be paying attention to right now is this 30-minute charts here for the ES Mini and the NQ. Both have TD9 count tops. That suggests we should see a retracement at least for the next maybe hour or so. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. We'll see you on Fantastic Friday, but stay tuned for the show today.